What's going on guys, Balkan Arctic here and in today's tutorial I'm going to be showing you how to create steel construction in Revit. So yesterday I uh, did a tutorial on concrete construction in Revit and it got an amazing response. So I thought it would be a good idea to kind of create this beginner steel construction uh, in Revit uh, tutorial and I'm just going to be modeling the same building and just to show you some of the differences between working with steel construction and uh, working with just basic concrete construction. But before I get started, I would just like to ask you to like this tutorial. It helps me out a lot. And if you haven't already, I suggest you subscribe because I make tutorials like this every day. Okay, so let's get started. And for this, I am going to be using the uh, structural template because we're doing a structural project. So just open that up. Let's just wait for a second. Okay, here we go. So first, I, I like to set the grids. So just go here to grid and or just type in GR for shortcut. And uh, let's just do uh, like one of these vertical ones. And then for the second one, we can just go like this at, I don't know, like six thousand or yeah this is a steel construction we can go like eight thousand so eight thousand millimeters which is eight meters and i'm just going to change this to meters as soon as i'm done with these okay so we've got these uh, vertical grids let's maybe select them and kind of move them a bit i'm just using the arrow keys here so i'm just going to type in un to set the units and here i'm just going to change this from uh, millimeter to meter and just give it two decimal places just hit okay again okay and now let's do the horizontal ones again, grid. I'm just going to do the one first. And uh, then what I'm going to do is I'm going to select it and change it from five to A. So this is a grid line A. And now when I select it, I can go again, GR for grid, offset, and let's give it an offset of eight meters. And let's do maybe a couple like this. And now we can just kind of make everything look nice. And as you can see now, this is ABC. And I can select all of this and again using arrow keys, kind of center it on screen. You don't really have to do this, but I just, I, I prefer working like this. Okay, so now let's set the levels. So let's go to one of the elevations. So let's go maybe south elevation. Uh, yeah, here extend this a lot upward and extend it a bit downward. Okay, so now we need to add a bit of extra levels. So just go here to a level or uh, you can just use the shortcut LL and let's use the offset tool again and let's give it a four meter offset and maybe do one a level over here. Uh, yeah, let's, okay, let's lift this up to four meters and now let's lift this up to four meters as well. Okay, so I guess this is enough uh, levels. We don't have to do much more, but let's add one more over here for the, for the foundation and let's just call it level zero. And it's okay, it can stay at minus 2.8 meters. Okay, so now let's start modeling. So go into your level one, and now it's time to start placing walls. So you just go here to architecture to wall, and if you start placing a wall, you're going to get this message. And uh, the reason why you can't see this wall is because this is a structural plan. So let's go back uh, once, just undo, and then go to structure and wall. And if you start placing a wall here, as you can see now it works. So I'm just going to delete this one and uh, go with, again, wall and uh, let's use our structural wall and uh, let's just use generic 300 millimeter. And uh, yeah, I'm just going to be placing the structural core here, which is made out of concrete and the rest will be uh, just steel construction. So uh, let's just go modify, okay, a rectangle and just place a simple rectangle like this. Now we can go into 3D, select everything, just hover over one of them, hit the tab key, select all, and then change the top constraint to level three and the bottom constraint to level zero. Hit apply. Okay, this is what we get. So we've got our structural core. Let's go back into level one and let's start placing beams. So if I go here to beam, and uh, as you can see, I'm just going to get this a uh, few of these uh, kind of a, uh, beams. So let's see what we get. So we see this one, this one, this one. Okay, so let's use the biggest one uh, for, uh, for the beams. And yeah, so you just go from here all the way here and you place your beam. Now, as you can see, it looks kind of weird, looks like a simple line. And in order to see your steel construction in views, you need to make sure you set this to fine. And, uh, if you don't set it to fine, it just uh, leaves it as one line. It's kind of a diagram view, so you can't really see it. So what you need to do is you need to go like that for beams from here to here. 
and from here to here. But of course those beams aren't uh, attached anywhere so before we continue on we need to add some columns first. So let's go to structure, structural column and let's see what we get over here. Again amazing because we have this uh, this template for, uh, for the construction we get these uh, loaded in so we've already got some beams. So let's place one over here, let's place one beam over here, let's place one over here, over here and at each intersection of grids and do more over here. Now uh, to set the, these beams if you go to 3D this is only what we get so I'm just going to hover and select everything and go to filter and just go check none then go structural columns hit apply hit OK and now uh, make sure they go from level 0 all the way up to level 3. Okay so now let's move on to these uh, uh, these beams now uh, if I go over here and set this to I don't know like shaded view you're going to see that this is going straight through uh, this uh, this column so if I go here to the modify tab and I find cope and I select the beam then I select this as you can see now the beam is going uh, to the column and starting from the column but it isn't going through the actual column so that's what you want to have so you just select the beam first and then the column and uh, I'm just going to undo this for a second and yeah, if I selected the column first and then the beam, as you can see now the beam would cut through the column and in this case this is not something I want to have. So just go first the beam, then the column and there we go. And if you want to uh, find out how to do those complex uh, steel con uh, connections that can add another steel element over here, which you can see here on the steel tab, I've already got a tutorial on that so check out it. It's, uh, the link is in the description. Okay, so once we've got this, we need to add a beam system to this. So to do that, let's go back into level one. And uh, once you're here, just go to structure, beam system. And here for the beam system, uh, for the beam type, this is the important part. You need to set this to the smallest beam you can find. So let's use this one, universal beam. And uh, let's go sketch beam system. And I'll just start sketching. So I'm just going to use pick lines. Go from here to here to here, to here, and yeah, go all the way around this concrete part. Then use trim and extend, just TR is the shortcut, and just trim and extend everything. Okay, once we have this, uh, let's now uh, set this beam direction, and in this case, it's going in the right direction, so this beam direction, you can use it either like this, or you can create a separate line that represents that beam direction, but I'm just going to delete it and or no, let's let's leave it in. Okay, so and let's connect it to this over here, maybe, kind of like that. Okay, so we've got our beam direction, we've got our beam type for the spacing. Let's do it at 1.6, and hit apply. Okay, and if we go now into 3D, this is what we get. Uh, so once you have this beam system, now it can go like this through the. Uh, beams or it, they can go above the beams. So to set them up to go above the beams uh, you need to hover over them, select uh, the beam system and then give it an elevation offset. So uh, how do you do that? Well the best thing uh, to do is to go to some of the uh, the elevations. So go like this. Of course you need to set this to fine. Uh, I'm just going to save it later and uh, here just go to wireframe so you can see the beam system and now uh, you can just go and measure this height. So if the height of this is 26 or 0.26 so now we go back into our 3D view we hover over uh, this thing we give it an elevation of 0.26 hit enter and there we go so now it's above the it's above the beams. And now finally to do our floor, to do the floor we need to use uh, one of the structural floors. So you just go back into your uh, level one, you go to floor and you just create floor right, like rectangle. But first I'm just going to change this uh, to maybe something a bit better. Let's see what we have. Okay, let's use this one with the metal deck. I think that's appropriate for this uh, concrete facade and if we just hover over this for a while you can see this is now that metal deck uh, floor so for that floor is going to be running in this direction so uh, perpendicular to the, uh, the to the beam system so again you just use pick lines and you go from here to maybe this line to this line 
here let's pick this line and yeah let's go around the structural core of course you probably have some uh, something inside of the structural core but for now let's just use the steel construction outside of it and let's go all the way around like that okay and as you can see over here the direction the span direction is uh, all right and now if we go into 3d you're going to see this is now a bit messed up because it's in place of uh, everything else it's in place of beams so we need to uh, bring it up a bit so again for this I like to go to uh, one of the elevations and as you can see this is where the uh, structural system is and you, me you measure this distance from here to here and it says uh, 0.47 so you just select this and give it a height offset of 0.47 hit apply and as you can see now it's above the uh, above the beam system and the direction is actually the, the correct direction so if we go into 3d this is what we get and now you can just kind of hover uh, or, or orbit it around like this do kind of a selection uh, like that go to copy paste align to selected levels and then you can align it to levels 2 and 3 hit apply and there you go so we've got our construction up here and let's give it a bit of an offset to this at the top so let's give it another two meters yeah gonna make it look like that okay and of course you can add just uh, isolated uh, foundation if you go into level zero and you can just add isolated foundation here just switch this to fine to see the beams a bit better so just go all the way around adding all of these uh, all of the structural foundation just make sure you attach it to the intersection of the grids instead of uh, some of the points of the beam so just go like that and then let's go into 3d and go with the isolated or sorry not isolated you go with the wall and then you place it uh, your uh, foundation uh, uh, below the wall okay so there we go we've got our steel construction it actually looks good from uh, these angles uh, you can see everything maybe you can turn on shadows but yeah, it's just a bit darker anyway you get the point so that's how you create your uh, basic steel uh, constructions in Revit that's like the basic beginner structural connection tutorial for you for today okay so that's pretty much it thank you for watching if you want to download this uh, whole project file check out my patreon first link in the description okay so that's pretty much it please like and share this video make sure to subscribe and i'll see you with another cool tutorial tomorrow